Microchip currently offers a wide variety of 8-bit to 32-bit microcontrollers along with digital signal controllers. These products range from the very small, low-cost 8-bit baseline family all the way up to the sophisticated DS picks with powerful high-level digital signal processing capabilities. Our 8-bit microcontrollers, including the PIC-10, 12, 16, and 18 families, offer the designer a range of choices with variations in performance, memory, and pin count. Baseline products offer a 12-bit instruction set covering 6 to 40 pins and up to 3K bytes of program memory or 2K instructions with a basic peripheral set including comparators and analog to digital converters. Our existing mid-range family offers a 14-bit instruction set covering 8 to 64 pins with up to 14K bytes of program memory or 8K instructions. With up to 5 MIPS performance, a more advanced peripheral set is offered including serial communications, capture compare PWM, LCD, double EEPROM, 10-bit analog to digital converters, and more recently, our capacitive M-Touch sensing peripherals. Finally, the high-performance PIC-18 products offer a 16-bit instruction set covering 18 to 100 pins with up to 128K bytes of program memory and up to 16 MIPS performance with hardware multiply. This family offers a very advanced peripheral set including advanced serial communications, capture compare PWM, LCD, USB, Ethernet, 12-bit analog to digital converter, and the new charge time measurement peripheral developed specifically for capacitive sensing applications. Recognizing the demand for increased performance and peripherals within the 8-bit microcontroller market, Microchip has recently revisited and enhanced the mid-range architecture. The new enhanced core builds upon the best elements of the existing mid-range core and provides additional performance while maintaining compatibility with existing mid-range products for true product migration. The enhancements provide users with a boost of performance of up to 50% and code size reductions of up to 40% for various algorithms and functions. Improvements such as more program and data memory, including C efficiency optimizations, increased peripheral support, and reduced interrupt latency. Customers now have more options for applications that may not require the extended 16-bit program memory sizes offered by the PIC-18 family, but could benefit from more capabilities than currently offered by the existing mid-range architecture. Shown here is a simplified block diagram of an 8-bit mid-range PIC microcontroller. This architecture incorporates two separate memory spaces for up to 8K of program instructions and 446 bytes of data. Separate buses, one for each memory space, can be active simultaneously. Therefore, while fetching an instruction on the program bus, data can be read or written on the data bus. The program memory bus is optimized for a 14-bit instruction word so that many instructions can be executed in a single instruction cycle. The central processing unit on the existing architecture supports 35 instructions with interrupt capabilities using an 8-level hardware stack. The enhanced mid-range architecture takes a good thing and makes it better. Memory space is significantly expanded. Operating speed is improved up to 8 MIPS, which is a 60% increase over the existing architecture. New instructions reduce overhead and optimize instruction execution times. Additionally, there is a lot more room for peripheral expansion as new technologies emerge. Let's take a look at a side-by-side -side comparison with the existing architecture and then go into more detail on these enhancements. While maintaining the instruction word at 14 bits, addressable program memory has been extended to 57K bytes, allowing up to 32K of instructions on the enhanced mid-range architecture. This is a dramatic increase from the existing architecture at 8K instructions. The user now has a lot more room for more involved firmware applications along with optimization when programming in C. Data memory has been extended to more than 3K bytes from 446 bytes on the existing architecture. As I mentioned, not only does this increase available general purpose RAM, but now there is more room for future peripheral expansion. With the new enhanced architecture comes 14 new instructions that enable the embedded engineer to optimize firmware applications by implementing faster code with less overhead.
the hardware stack has been increased from 8 to 16 levels with optional reset capabilities on overflow or underflow conditions. Furthermore, the stack is now completely accessible from Bank 31 in the extended data memory space. More on this later. Another nice feature is the new hardware context save during interrupts. Traditionally, a software handling routine is required on the existing architecture to save some of the core registers during any interrupt. Now this is done automatically with these registers saved on any interrupt and restored on a return. Finally, indirect addressing has been enhanced with the addition of two 16-bit file select registers, allowing not only access to data memory but program memory as well. Additionally, three new instructions are included in the new instruction set specifically for FSR support.